In the multitude of thy mercy, I shall go into thy house, and shall worship toward thy holy temple in fear of thee. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Forgive me, my brothers. Forgive me, my brothers and my sisters. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto wages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Praise to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto wages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Granting to thy people victory over all adversaries. And by thy cross, preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou who of thine own good was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might to lawfully comfort us, that with him we may be led to victory over our adversary. Having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. And unto ages of the not be put to confusion. Despise not our petition, so good and all praise fail to us. Establish the way of the Orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us. 
and lead us all to the victory which is from heaven. For the word she who gave us birth to God, and the Lord our blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Aramur, aliyaramur, aliyaramur, Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, and all our brotherhood and Christ. For thou art a merciful God who lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me, many there would you say, if my soul there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me at this holy hill. I laid me down, I slept, I waited for the Lord to sustain me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for Thou hast hit within all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon Thy people. I laid me down, I slept. I wait for the Lord to sustain me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrow stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As to the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively, and they are strong. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in the dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. 
I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips, when I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of my wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard mm -hmm. after thee, thy right hand hath upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh into the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pits, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth, mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up, while I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and my acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is ruled like the eagles. The Lord excuseth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as the father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passes over it, it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as to keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandment to do them. The Lord hath prepared his thrones in the heavens, 
and his kingdom rule of over all bless the lord he is angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word bless ye the lord all ye his hosts ye ministers of his that do his pleasure bless the lord all his works in all places of his dominion bless the lord o my soul places of his dominion bless the lord o my soul hear my prayer o lord give ear to my supplications in thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant <coughs> for in thy sight shall no man living be justified for the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands, I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O Lord, In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, and our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our President, Civil Authorities, and Armed Forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto wages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When Mary stood at thy grave looking for thy sacred body, angelic paths shone above thy revered tomb, and the soldiers who were to keep God became as dead men. Thou led Hades captive and was not tempted thereby. Thou didst meet the virgin and didst give life to the world. O thou who art risen from the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. <laughs> ظهروا على قبرك الموقر والقراص صاروا كالأموات ومريم وقفت عند القبر طالبة جسدك الطاهر فسبايت الجحيم ولم تجارب منهم وصدفت البتول مانحان الحياة فيا من قام من بين الأموات يا رب المجد Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. When thou, o Christ our God, was transfigured on the mountain, thou didst reveal thy glory to thy disciples in proportion as they could bear it. Let thine everlasting light also enlighten our sinners through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O thou bestower of light, glory to thee. Again and again in <clears throat> peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom 
in the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto wages of ages. Amen. لقد صاخت مريم لما ظهر القبر مفتوحا والجحيم منتحبة نحو الرسل المختفيين قائلة اخرجوا يا فعلة الكرم وبشروا بكلام القيامة لأن الرب قد قام مانحا العالم الرحمة العظمى. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Mary Magdalene, O Lord, did stand by thy tomb and cry, weeping. And when she thought thou wast the gardener, she said, Where hast thou hidden the everlasting life? Where hast thou placed him who sitteth on the cherubic throne? And when she saw the guards who kept him appearing from fear like dead, she cried unto them, Give me my Lord, or else cry with me, saying, O thou who was numbered among the dead, and who didst raise the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. Wilt thou endeavor unto ages of ages, amen. Thou wast Thou hast been transfigured, O Savior, on Mount Tabor, indicating the transformation of mankind which shall take place at thy dreadful second coming. Moses and Elijah did converse with thee, but thy disciples whom thou didst call when they beheld thy glory, O Master, were dazzled by the brightness. Wherefore, O thou who didst rise at that time, cause thy light to shine on them, lighten our souls. The very life was placed in the grave, and seals were applied to a stone. And the soldiers guarded Christ as they would a sleeping king. But the Lord rose, smiting his enemies in an invisible way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily, Jonah did come before and make a sign of thy tomb. And Simeon did interpret thy divine resurrection, O deathless Lord. For thou didst descend into the grave as one who is dead. O thou who didst invade the gates of Hades, and did rise free of corruption for the salvation of the world. Being the Master of Christ, our God, and his light, those who are in darkness. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. On Mount Tabor's heights was thou transfigured, O my Savior Christ, and did show to thine elect disciples thy great majesty, as thou didst flash forth the changelessness of thy Godhead. Within a cloud of light thou didst call to thyself Moses and divine Elijah speaking with thee. And Peter said, Merciful Master, lo, it is good to be here with thee. O thou who shonest thy light upon them, grant our souls light now also. Mubarakun anta ya Rab, walimni hukukun, jamal malaikatin dhala mutahayiran, anda mujadatihim ya kamahsuban, بين الأموات أيها المخلص وضاحدا قوة الموت ومنيدا آدم معك ومضيقا نيانا من الجحيم كافتا Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O women disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the myrrh-bearing women. Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the murmuring women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But the angel came for them, saying, the time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. The murmuring women mourned as bearing spices. They drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, 
wine and bathe the living among the dead. In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. <laughs> ثلوثا قدوسا في جوال واحد هاتفنا مع سرفهم قدوس 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 أنت يا رب Both now and ever and unto ages of ages of men in that thou didst be the giver of life, O virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and didst give to Eve joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 al-majulak, ya Allah. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, we commend ourselves and each other in our life unto Christ our God. Holy For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto wages of ages. Amen. بموتك المحي الطوعي أيها المسيح حطمت أبواب الجحيم بما أنك إله وفتحت لنا الفردوس القديمة وقمت ناهدا من بين الأموات وخلصت من الفساد نفوسنا. To the heavens do I lift mine eyes, O word of God. Have mercy upon me that I may live by thee. O word, have mercy upon us who are despised and make us good and chosen vessels. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily in the Holy Spirit is the cause of salvation for all. For when he bloweth on one worthily, he doth raise him speedily from earthly things. Doth wean him and cause him to grow, and doth rank him in the heavenly places. Were not the Lord in our midst, it would not be possible for any of us to stand firm in his wrestling with the enemy, but only thereby do the victors attain the exaltation of victory. Woe is me, how shall I escape the enemies while I am a lover of sin? Wherefore, deliver not my soul, O word, like a bird to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, through the Holy Spirit is everyone made divine, and in Him is pleasure, understanding, safety, and blessing. For He is equal to the Father and the Word together. They who trust in the Lord are feared by their enemies, and are wondered at by all, for their sight is very high. The party of the righteous hath secured thee as its help, O Savior and therefore shall not reach out its hands to iniquities. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Holy Spirit hath might over all, for him do all the heavenly hosts worship, and every breath below. 
O Lord, arouse thy strength and come to us salvation. Ya Rabbu alqa quwwataka wa halumma li khalasina. Arkin, O Shepherd of Israel, O Lord, arouse thy strength and come to our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou our God, who restest in the holy place, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto wages of ages. Amen. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us be attentive. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter, and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying, and the napkin, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen clothes, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not know the scripture that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, on thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we know none other beside thee, and we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us. He hath destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done evil in thy sight. 
that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sins did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom, thou shalt make clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guide, thy guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will and design, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. <laughs> Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O merciful one, blot out the multitude of our transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary by the might of the precious and life-giving cross by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet forerunner and Baptist John of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasio, Cyril and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mir and Lysia, Spiridon of Trometheus, Nictarios of Pentapolis, the wonder workers of our father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, a trophy bearer, Demetrios, the mirth streaming, Theodore, the soldier, Theodore, the general and meanest, the wonder worker of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Herolampos, and Eleftherios, of the holy, glorious, and great women, martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Karyaki, Fortini, Marina, Marscrave, and Irene of the holy, glorious, in right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who shone in the ascetic life, the holy and righteous pra prophet Elijah, patron of this holy church, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, Emilanios, the confessor of the Archbishop of Kisikos, Miron, uh, the Archbishop of Crete, whose memory we celebrate, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petition of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee. 
and have mercy upon us. Oh, mercy, Lord, have mercy. mercy and compassions and love for mankind of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto waiters of ages. Amen. Having raised up all the dead out of the dark abysses by his life-bestowing hand, Christ God, the giver of life, have bestowed the resurrection upon mortal nature. For he is the Savior and resurrection and life of all, and the God of all. We the faithful praise and worship thy cross and burial, O giver of life. For thou hast bound Hades, O immortal one, as God omnipotent. And thou hast raised up the dead with thyself, and broken the gates of Hades, and destroyed the dominion of death, since thou art God. Therefore we the earthborn glorify thee with longing, who art risen, and hast destroyed the dominion of the all-destroying enemy. Thou hast raised up all who believe in thee, and has rescued the world from the darts of the serpent, and has delivered us from the error of the enemy, O Almighty One. Hence we reverently praise the resurrection, whereby thou hast saved us, since thou art the God of all. On August 8th, during the after-feast of the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ, we commemorate our righteous father, Emilianus the Confessor, Archbishop of Kizikos. Since Emilianus made much of his soul's salvation, he made little of the flesh even until his ending. On the 8th, a furrow received the bones of Emilianus. Emilianus was, an, was Archbishop in the time of the wicked Emperor Leo the Armenian, the iconoclast. Refusing to carry out the imperial directive on the removal of icons from the churches, he was, along with other Orthodox bishops, sent into exile. Emilianus spent five years in exile, enduring many ills and much humiliation for the sake of Christ. He died in the year 820 and joined the company of the citizens of heaven. On this day, we also commemorate Miran, Archbishop of Crete, by the intercessions of thy saints, O Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. Namo Salama Rasama Salim, the Rabbin Asamu Sawiyam, Vashakal Bahar al Ahmar, Ujaza Israel Mashiyan, Ulama Darabahu Mukhalifan, Dhammahu Ala Firaun Awamar. كابته ممثلا بصراحة سلاح غير المقهور لذلك نسبح المسيح إلىنا لأنه قد مجدا The rod is perceived as a figure of the mystery for by its blossoming it is showed who was chosen to be priest. And for the church that formerly was barren, as the wood of the cross now blossomed forth unto strength and steadfastness. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery. And I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O tree divine and thrice blessed, whereon Christ God was a stretch, though he is king and the Lord of all. 
He who had once through the tree wrought wicked beguilement fell himself because of thee, ensnared when God was nil to thee in our mortal flesh. He who granteth peace unto our souls. Inna yuna ana lamma kana fi jawahil huwut al-bahrim wa basata yadai bi shakl salib sabaka farasam al-alam al-khalasiyata bi wuduhin ولما خرج في اليوم الثالث مثل القيامة الفائقة العالم التي المسيح الإله المسمر بالجسد والمنير العالم بالقيامة ذات الثلاثة الأيام Ungodly tyrants, most innocent decree, affrighted common folks, breathing forth with threats and wicked mouthings of blasphemy. But the three children were not struck with fear by rage wild and bestial, nor by the roaring fire. But in an echoing and dubious sprinkling breeze, they stood amidst the fire and sang, O thou supremely praised God of our fathers and our God, forever art thou blessed. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord, O ye children, equal in number to the Trinity. Bless ye God, the Father and Creator. Praise ye the Word who descended and changed the power into dew. And supremely exalt the Holy Spirit who granteth life unto all forever. The Theotokos and Mother of the Light let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and not truly Theotokos, we magnify Thee. <laughs> بدون فساد ولا ذات كلمة الله حقا أنك والدة لله إياك نواضي إذا is mighty hath magnified me and holy is his name and his mercy is on them throughout all generations more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he that is mighty is magnified, and holy is his name, and his mercy has done them to pay to our progenitor the Hebrews. and the cherubim, the ocean strength with his arm has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More wrong, broken than the chair. And more glorious be uncompared than the cherubim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and art truly thy all talk, us we magnify thee. 
عبدالله إسرائيل فتعال يذكر رحمته كما قال لأبينا إبراهيم ولنسله للأبد يا من هي أكرمنا شربهم وأرفعوا مجدا بغير قياس من السرفهم يا من بدون فساد وجدت كريمة الله حقا أنك والدة لله إياك نور. And more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Theotokos, thou art a mystical paradise. Which being untilled hath blossomed forth Christ, by whom the life bringing tree of the cross was planted in the earth, in worship in him now through its elevation. Thee do we magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Holy Lady Theotokos Christ and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. All the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee do they ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. And worship that his foot فحضر كلاهما فوجد الأكفان داخلا موضوعة وحدها والعمامة التي كانت على رأسه منعزلة ناحية لذلك سقر إلى الأبصار المسيحة حقا Before thy sovereign, before thy cross, O sovereign Lord, taking thy chief disciples, thou was transfigured on this day High upon holy Tabor, whereon Elias and Moses stood in great awe and trembling. As they, thy servants, talked with thee, like them we give thee worship, 
O Savior Christ, with thy Father and thy Holy Spirit, who from a virgin shonest forth for mortal man's salvation. Let everything that hath breath This glory shall be to all his saints. The cross, O Lord, is life and resurrection to thy people, and in it do we trust. Wherefore thee do we praise, O our risen Lord, have mercy upon us. Praise God in his sanctuary, place him in the firmament of his blood. The very young master hath opened paradise to mankind. Wherefore we, as we ask it for absurd, we praise thee, O our risen God, have mercy upon us. Praise him for his mighty hands, praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. With the Father and the Spirit, let us praise Christ, risen from the dead. Let us cry out unto him, Thou art alive, and resurrection have mercy upon us. Sabbahu bilahnu al-buk, sabbahu bil-mizmari wal-kithara. Laqad kumta min al-qabri li thalafati ayamin. كما كتب أيها المسيح وأقمت معك أجدادنا لذلك جنس البشر يمجدك ويسبح قيامتك Praise Him with the timbrel and dance, praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Before Thy venerable cross and will in passion, take in Thy divine disciples whom Thou hast preferred. O Master, Thou went to stop with them into Mount Tabor, wishing to show them Thy glory openly. And as they all looked on thee transfigured wondrously, and shining forth brighter than the sun, they cast themselves down, being amazed at thy might and sovereignty. And they cried out, Thou art the timeless light, and the fathers of fortunes, though thou art Christ, of thine own will without change, are made manifest now in the flesh. We praise him upon the loud symbols, praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that had the breath praise the Lord. Before thy venerable cross and will in passion. 
taken the divine disciples whom thou hadst preferred. O Master, thou wentest up with them into Mount Tabor, wishing to show them thy glory openly. And as they all looked on the transfigured wondrously, and shining forth brighter than the sun, they cast themselves down, being amazed at thy might and sovereignty. And they cried out, Thou art the timeless light, and the fog does effulgence, though thou art Christ, of thine own will without change, are made manifest now in the flesh. Thine are the heavens, and thine is the earth, the world and the fullness thereof hast thou founded. O thou who art God, the word before the ages, O as with a garment, covest of thy, thyself with light, thou wast transfigured before thy three elect disciples. And thou, O word, shone as brighter than the sun, Moses and Elijah stood on either side of thee, making it plain that thou art the Lord, of the living and of the dead, and they greatly glorified thy tender mercy, thine ineffable dispensation for us, and thy very great condescension, whereby thou hast saved all the world but that was lost in sins. Tabor and Mormon shall rejoice in thy name, Thou who was born of a virgin cloud aforetime, and became as flesh and didst ascend Mount Tabor's height, thou wast transfigured thereon, O Lord, and didst encompass thyself about with a brilliant cloud of light. Then as thy disciples stood with thee, there came the voice of thy begetter proclaiming thee, his own beloved Son, truly of one essence and one throne with him. And Peter, awestruck, cried aloud to thee, It is good to be here, O most merciful, benefactor and Savior, and in wonder knew not what he said. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm. Behold the dawn and the rise of the day. Why hast thou stood, O Mary, at the grave and great darkness? Unto ages of ages, amen. O 
most blessed are thou, Virgin Theotokos, for through him thou was incarnate of thee, his head is despoiled, Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void, if is set free, death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, who has shone forth the light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Nasjudu laka numajiduka Nashkuruka min ajli Azimi jalali majdi O Lord King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ And the Holy Spirit يا حمل الله يا ابن الاب يا رافع خطيئه العالم ارحمنا يا رافع خطايا العالم Receive our prayer thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father and a mercy on us. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever. Yea, forever and ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. <speaking in Hebrew> كنت لنا في الجيل الوجيل أنا قلت يا رب ارحمني وانسي نفسي لأنني قد خطيت إليك Lord I have fled unto thee teach me to do thy will for thou art my God أنا من قبلك يا عين الحياة O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. I <laughs> Holy 
mortal, have mercy on us. O oh, heavenly King, the comfort, the spirit of truth, Lord, in all places, and fill us all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good Lord. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will among men. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall declare that word. Time for the Lord to act. Bless Mass. Blessed is our God, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray for me, Mass. O Lord God, direct thy steps unto every good work. Remember me, Mass. The Lord God, remember thee in his kingdom now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Master bless. Bless it is the kingdom. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For our President, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. O Master. Archangels for the service, thy glory. Cause it with our, there may, with our entrance, there may be an entrance of holy Amen. Amen. 
us master the entrance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
and down upon it. And Master, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Bless Master the throne on high. The glory of thy kingdom, Lord, and throned upon the share of him all, now and ever, now. With strength, Let us attend. The Lord save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Unto thee, O Lord, will I cry, O my God. Wisdom. A reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Roman. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for that which is good for his edification. For Christ also did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached thee fell on me. And whatever was written beforehand was written for our learning, that we might have hope through the patience and comfort of the scriptures. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be of the same mind with one another, according to Jesus Christ, that with one accord and one mouth you may glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore receive one another, even as Christ has also received you, to the glory of God. Peace be unto thee that readeth. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to our spirits. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. At that time when Jesus was passing by, two blind men followed him, crying aloud and saying, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then Jesus touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly charged them, See that no one knows it. But they went away and spread his fame through all that district. As they were going away, behold, a dumb demoniac was brought to Jesus. And when the demon had been cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He has cast out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity of the people. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. 
giving the homily this morning is Father Cosmas Morphus, who will be the Proist Dominos at Holy Ascension in Norman. And uh, right now, him and Father Jeremy are overlapping. So we have this opportunity to have him with us today. And then next week, we'll have Father Jeremy with us on the Feast of the Door Mission. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. 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 Therefore, receive one another, even as Christ has also received you, to the glory of God. Today, in these closing lines from Paul's epistle, we are given an insight into our relationship with Christ. We are given an insight not only into how Christ acts towards us, but also, in turn, how we are to act towards one another. And a perfect example of how Christ acts towards us, how Christ receives us, is given for us also in today's Gospel reading. In today's Gospel, Christ receives three individuals, two blind men and a demoniac. All three of these men he heals, and the two blind men he also charges to tell no one of what has just happened. Now this seems odd. In today's media-saturated world, things are shared instantly. And when something good happens, we want to share it with others, especially when it happens to us. What would it have hurt for Christ to have let the men share the news of their healing with others? And yet, Christ tells them no. And just so that you know that this isn't a fluke, that this just isn't a one-time thing, it's worth noting that this happens multiple times throughout the Gospels. Jesus heals someone, and instead of telling them to go shout it from the, from the rooftops, he tells them to tell no one. What's more, this also just happened with the feast that we just celebrated, the Transfiguration of Christ. In the Transfiguration, Christ revealed the indwelling of his divinity, as St. John Chrysostom tells us. And yet, Christ tells Peter, James, and John, the three who saw the transfiguration, tell no one of what they just saw. And you'd think he'd want them to shout it again from the rooftops. But no, he tells the three disciples, tell no one. And this strange commandment by Christ to tell no one I think is at least partially answered by understanding who Jesus is and why he does what he does. You see, Jesus is not simply a healer. He's not simply a magician. Everything Christ does, he does for a reason. And part of the reason why he tells these individuals, tell no one, is this. In the last few centuries BC, and even in the time of Jesus, there were numerous individuals going around proclaiming that they were either the Messiah or a prophet. And what's more, there were numerous texts going around proclaiming to be written by such messiahs. Generally, these individuals were charismatic and commanded great crowds. Oftentimes, they would attempt to gain more followers through so-called miracles. And numerous times, they attempted to gain political power through popular revolts. And yet, the Jesus that we see does none of these things. In fact, Many times, he seems to conceal what he does. But here's the important part. Christ conceals himself and his ministry only up to a point. And that point, the point in which Christ proclaims his disciples to tell of all that has happened, comes 19 chapters later in the book of Matthew, in what we call the Great Commission, when the resurrected Christ tells his disciples, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. You see, this was the moment after his death and resurrection that Jesus now tells his disciples to tell the world what has happened. And this is of the utmost significance for us Christians, because it tells us how we are to see Christ and how we are to see one another. Christ didn't come just to make a big show, as St. Athanasius the Great tells us. He didn't come to just make a big display or dazzle his followers. No, St. Athanasius tells us that he came to heal humanity, 
to put himself, his entire self, at the disposal of those who needed him, and ultimately to die for humanity and to raise it to something greater. And it is in his death and resurrection that we come to know who Christ is and come to know who we are as Christians. We worship a living God, one who healed individuals throughout his earthly ministry, yes, but also one who has given to us a path towards true healing. Not simply the healing of physical illnesses and diseases, but true healing that leads to resurrection. True healing that ultimately leads to God himself. And I think this is the part, this is in part why Christ tells these men he heals today not to proclaim these healings to anyone. Because these healings were not the point of Christ's ministry. They pointed towards the ultimate goal of his earthly ministry. And that ultimate goal was resurrecting a dead humanity. Resurrecting each and every one of us. Offering his hand to each one of us to make us whole. And so while the men's blindness was cured and the demoniac was healed in today's gospel, these events actually point us towards something greater. They point us towards our own healing, towards our own eyes being opened and our own souls being exercised of all our past sins and transgressions. Through repentance and communion, through a life lived in the church, we become whole, just as these men were made whole. And this is made even more apparent in the Greek because in the Greek language, to be saved or to save comes from the same root as what it means to be whole. And this is a good way to understand our salvation, especially with today's gospel in mind. We are saved when we are made whole, just as the men today were made whole in the reception of their sight. We are made whole, we are saved when we are brought back to who we really are meant to be, individuals made in the image of God. And this is perhaps becomes even more apparent in the Feast of the Transfiguration, which we just celebrated. Because in the Transfiguration, in Christ showing Peter, James, and John his splendor and his divine beauty, he is showing them and he is showing us what he wishes to share with us, what he wishes to impart to us, and that is his very self. Christ isn't selfish. And those things which he has, his power, his might, his splendor, his grace, and his very self, he wishes to share with his creation, with us. With this in mind, returning to today's epistle reading, St. Paul tells us to receive one another, even as Christ has also received us, to the glory of God. And what this means is that just as Christ has received us, all of us, and has shown us the path to his kingdom, we too are to receive one another. All of our neighbors, all of them, not just our friends, but our enemies as well, in this same way. We are to receive them and share Christ's light with them. What Christ has done for us, what Christ did for both those who loved him and those who hated him, we are to do as well. Does this mean that in 21st century America we're going to be physically crucified like Christ was out of love for our fellow man? Probably not. But what it does mean is that we can love our neighbor in the same ways that Christ did. It means that we can clothe the naked, heal the infirm, and visit those in need. It means we can crucify our own egos, our own wills, and put our own selfish ambitions aside. And instead, let our wills be filled with God's will for us. And God's will for us is to give our very lives over to him and to be the light of the world. It means to share the light of Christ's resurrection with the world. And as St. Paul tells us in today's epistle, receive one another even as Christ has received us. May this be our common task as Christians. And through the reception of our neighbors in love, may God receive us into his everlasting love. To him be glory, honor, and worship now and forever. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. Be guarded always by thy might. 
we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh to serve thee, O King of glory, for to serve thee is a great and fearful thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, through thine unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind, thou didst become and yet without change or alteration as Lord of all this take the name of our high priest and deliver unto us the ministry of this liturgical and bloodless sacrifice for thou alone O Lord our God rule us over those in heaven and on earth who are born on the throne of the cherubim for the seraphim and king of Israel who alone art holy and rests in the holy place wherefore I implore thee who alone art good and ready to listen look down upon me the sinner and thine unprofitable servant cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience and by the power of thy holy spirit Enable me, who am endued with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before this thy holy table and perform the sacred mystery of the holy immaculate body and precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bind my neck, I pray thee, turn not thy face from me. Neither cast me out from among thy servants, but thou safe to these things be offered unto thee by me. Thy sinful and unworthy servant, for thou thyself are he that offereth and is offered, accepted in this destruction. And unto thee do we ascribe glory together with thine unoriginal Father, and thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, ages We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the life-giving trinity of Christ's holy hymn, let us now lay aside all earthly care. That we may receive the King of all who comes invisibly, upborne by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to life-giving trinity, now let us lay aside all earthly care. That we may receive the King of all who comes invisibly upborne by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We who mystically represent the chair of That we may receive the King of all who comes invisibly upborne by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We offer unto thee, O Christ our God, the savor spiritual sweetness which thou dost accept upon thy throne above the heavens. Send down upon us and return the grace of thine all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the mouth of thy tender mercy, blood on mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy word, thou when thou art there. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things that I wish, and thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt strengthen me with this. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones which thou hast broken. Turn away thy face from my sins, and out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with the guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall sing the loud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hast thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. Sacrifices of God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, thy good will undesigned, that the walls be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt brothers, sisters, all my offenses. Forgive us, O oh God, those who love us and those who hate us. Lift up, Master. Lift up ye hands to the holy places and bless ye the Lord.
God has gone up in jubilation, the Lord with the shout of the Lord God the remember trumpet. now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All of you. And all Orthodox Christians. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom now and always and unto ages of ages. جميع المسيحيين الحسن عباد الأرثوذكسيين ليذكر الرب الإله في ملكوت السماء وكل حين الآن وكل آوان وإلى دهر الداهرين For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our President, all civil authorities, and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God, Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop Joanna, Magrid, Sherry, Alexandria, David, Andrew, Travis, Rima, Lori, Drew, Sandra, Sam, Bandy, Lauren, Luke, George, Gail, Rachel, Sarah, Spiridon, Kim, Katrina, Taylor, Mark, Charlie, Davey, Johnny, Malek, Dino, Zane, Buster, Kendall, Carla, Patrick, Charity, Robert, Valerie, Michael, Christina, Jim, Halfwick, Elsie, Ned, Bruce, Tease, Mike, Tina, Jamie, Dean, Shirley, Clara Jane, the ladies' aide, Anila, the families, Asala, Kubain, Halasa, and Amunda. May a mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins. The Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto wages of ages. Those servants of God departed this life unto the hope of the resurrection and unto life eternal. The founders and benefactors of this holy temple and those who have served therein, the departed kinsmen of those here present, and especially for the servants of God, Hannah, Hilda, Zied, Subdeacon John, Zacchaeus, Suhel, Mabel, Jean, Lawrence, Magdalena, Balaka, Robert, Nally, Ed, Shacker, Susu, the Proto-Presbyter, Leonid, Yvonne, Catherine, Andrew, the Archpriest, George, Rene, Joe, Elias, Jordan, Rene, Elias, Constantine, and Toyin. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, now and ever and unto ages of ages. God remember now, never unto ages of ages. Amen. The noble girl Sophonia taken down an immaculate body from the tree, wrapped it in pure linen and spices, are in place in it. The grave with the body, in Hades with the soul is God. 
paradise with the thief and on the throne with the Father and the Spirit was thou, O Christ, filling all things thyself uncircumscribed. His life bearing is more splendid than paradise and more radiant than any royal chamber of Christ is shown for thy tomb, the fountain of our resurrection. Shall they offer bulls upon thine altar? Then shall they offer bulls upon thine altar. Then shall they offer bulls upon thine altar. Remember me, brothers, and can celebrate. Pray for me, brothers, and can Let us complete Spirit, our prayer unto the Lord. Lord. May the same Spirit serve with us all the days of our lives. For the precious gift now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Yes, Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Yes, Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Yes, Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one accord we love may confess. Refuge in my deliverer, I love you, Lord, my strength. Foundation, my refuge. Support my firm. My refuge and my deliverance. Christ is in the name of Jehovah. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend, I believe. men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father 
and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, and the sin shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. O mercy of peace, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. The trump poem, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 but all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But when he comes, fulfill the dispensation for us. In the night in which he was betrayed, or rather gave himself up for life, for our Lord, for it. holy and immaculate, blameless hands. And when he given thanks and blessed and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his witness. <laughs> كل عاد هو الجسد الذي يكسر من أجلكم لمغفرة الخطيئات. This is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. And likewise. اشربوا منه كلكم هذا هو دم الذي للعد الجديد الذي أراك عنكم وعن كثيرنا لمغفرة الخطايا drink of this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Across the grave, the third day resurrection, the ascension of heaven, sing it right now, sing it. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all we begin we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee send down thy holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth bless master the holy bread and make this bread the precious body of thy christ amen, amen. bless master the and holy that cup. which is in this cup the precious blood of thy christ amen bless both masters, changing them by thy holy spirit 
Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof may be unto vigilance of soul, unto remission of sins, unto communion, thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee. Judgment nor unto condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. And especially our holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos. And ever Virgin Mary. Great is the name of the All-Holy Ever and unto me. Great is the name of the All-Holy Trinity. Always and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Great is the name of the All-Holy Trinity. Now and ever and unto ages. Great is the name of the All Holy Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto me. Amen. For the Holy Prophet, Forerunner, and Baptist John, of the Holy Glorious, all laudable apostles, of Emilianos, the Confessors, remember all thy saints, who we commemorate, whose supplications visit us. Uh, be mindful of all those who have fallen asleep before us to the hope of the resurrection unto life eternal, especially Subdeacon John. Anna, Hilda, Zied, Zakia, Suhel, Mabel, Jean, Lawrence, Magdalena, Balaga, Robert, Nelly, Ed, Shaka, Susan, Proto Presbyter, Leonid, Yvonne, Catherine, Andrew, Archpriest, George, Renee, Joe, Elijah, Jordan, Renee, Elias, Constantine, and Grant them rest, O Lord, where the lie thy countenance watches over them. Again, we beseech you, be mindful, Lord, of every bishop of the Orthodox who rightly divide the word of thy truth, of all the presbytery, the diaconate, and Christ, every priestly monastic order. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in chastity and lead a godly way of life, for our civil authorities and armed forces. Grant them, O Lord, peaceful times that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all reverence and godliness. Among the verse, be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches and peace, save the honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Amen. And to those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering, and of all mankind. And of and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, in ideal altars a Savior of spiritual sweetness will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. In 
and vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto wages of ages. Let us attend holy things are more the holy. Divided and distributed is the Lamb of God who is divided yet not disunited, who is ever eaten yet never consumed, but sacrificed those who partake their food. of the cup. I believe, O Lord, fullness of the cup of the Holy Spirit. The fullness of the cup of the Holy Spirit. The fullness of the cup of the Holy Spirit. Priesthood, may the Lord God remember now. Priesthood, may the Lord God remember now, never in the ages of ages. Amen. My priesthood, may the Lord God remember. Priesthood, may the Lord never into ages of ages. Amen. Thy priesthood, may the Lord God. The priesthood, may the Lord God remember now, never in the ages of ages.
Gonzalez. With 
fear of God and faith and love draw near. كسر يا ابن الله لأني لست أقول سرك يا ولا أعطيك قبلة غاشة مثل يهوذا لكن قلصي أعترف Oh, Lord. 
Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Abraham shall rejoice in thy name, thine is the arm that hath might. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Let thy hand be strengthened, let thy right hand be lifted up on high. Righteousness and judgment are the establishment of thy throne. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of the countenance. And in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that knoweth jubilation. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance. And in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Lord, in the light of thy face shall they walk, and in thy name shall they rejoice all the day long. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance. And in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. For the boast of their strength art thou, and in thy good pleasure shall our horn be lifted high. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. For from the Lord is our defense, from the Holy One of Israel our King. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. At that time thou spakest in a vision to thy sons, and thou didst say, I bestowed help on one that is mighty, I have raised up one chosen out of my people. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Found David my servant with my holy oil, I have anointed him. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. For my hand shall be unto him an ally, and mine arm shall strengthen him. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Nor vanish shall his enemy have over him, nor shall the son of iniquity avail to hurt him any more. We shall walk, O Lord, in the light of the glory of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Oh God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the truth.
Ευλόητο ο Θεό ημών. Πάντω τενήν και αίκε του αιώνα των αιώνων. upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Let us, for thou art our sanctification unto thee, do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord be in the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. that you're sogging the departed in memory of Ziad Halasa on the one year of his repose in the Lord. With the spirits of the righteous made perfect, give rest to the soul of thy servant, O Savior, and preserve him in that life of blessedness which is with thee, O thou who lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art our God, who descended into Hades, and loosed the bonds of those who were there. Thyself give rest also to the soul of thy servant. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin alone, pure immaculate, who without seed didst give birth to God, intercede for the salvation of his soul. 
have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray the ark and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Zed, departed this life, that thou will pardon his every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord our God will establish his soul where the just repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and remission of his sins. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King and our God. resurrection and a life and the repose of thy departed servant Zaid, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginal Father, and thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure, all-blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy glorious right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy glorious prophet Elijah the patron, and protector of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, 
Joachim and Anna, Avamilia Nos, the confessor, the Archbishop of Kizikos, Miron, the Archbishop of Crete, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Father's Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. God bless you all. Welcome, everybody. We want to welcome all visitors. We do have in the hall a tablecloth up towards the front of the coffee bar and uh, burgundy collared we have someone from our welcome team that would like to meet you uh, if you have any questions orthodox or non-orthodox first time here uh, please feel free to go up there uh, as i already partially introduced and we'll let him give out the andidero uh, father cosmas and his jorie uh, Catherine, I won't embarrass you. You get to meet in the hall. I won't make you stand up. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're truly blessed to have them uh, as, as part of our uh, uh, Oklahoma City uh, Orthodox Antiochian community. So we're, we're truly, truly blessed. Uh, coffee Hour today is hosted by the Mother's Day Out. Uh, and we want to... Um, you know, one thing that the board has asked me to do that I've kind of dropped in the ball you know, because we grow so much, just to introduce those who have been chrismated. So this, Elizabeth Turner was chrismated this week, over back there towards Rob Smith. Um, you know, I think the Gaston family has left. That was on Lazarus Saturday. Uh, we have, uh, and I'm just going to try to be more uh, conscious of those who we bring in. So you know who they are. This is your family. So we're truly blessed. Uh, the uh, Paraclesis service will be Wednesday before family night in the chapel. Centennial Committee will meet at 7 on Tuesday. Ladies' Aid will meet Wednesday at 11. Uh, tentatively, in two weeks, we're going to take pictures for our Centennial booklet. So we'll get out the word on that. Uh, family night continues this week. Um, also, there is an update about the food festival and bake sale. Tentatively, it's planned, read the message, and there will be a meeting if anyone has questions before parish council um, uh, on Tuesday the 17th. That's next week. There will be a bake sale meeting at 530. So tentatively, it's planned. I know this is going to be hard for you to believe, but sometimes rumors do get started. Uh, and before they carry too far, there's little cups filled with a darker liquid all around the church. And a couple weeks ago, the altar boy said, Father, do you have to keep a cup of bourbon everywhere that you go in the church? I didn't tell. I, scotch is more it for me. But we didn't get into that. That is apple cider vinegar. There are what we call fl fungus fleas. And they come every year. And they are horrific, and I'm sorry. And you're going to see them in the hall. You're going to see them everywhere. I talked to the exterminator. They said, put those cups. And what you do, you put the vinegar, you cover it with saran, you poke holes, they go in there and they can't get out. All right, so we're doing our best. Uh, and we're putting Drano. They say Drano works. There's not much that the, they said we can do other than indoor. But I just wanted to let you know, do not sip the bourbon. There are bugs in there. God bless you all. We're welcome to have Father Ambrose uh, back from uh, subbing at a few places and uh, Father uh, Cosmas, and we'll see everyone in the hall. God bless you all. May God keep you safe. May God protect you. And please be watchful. We do have a few people in the community that, that do have COVID and some have had the vaccine. So just so we can be the family that we are, let's just be a little watchful. God bless you all.